if you think about how humans develop, think about yourself. We develop any, think about any competency you have right now. If you're a good writer, uh, if you're good with numbers, uh, whatever you're good with, if you're, if you like reading, whatever, think of a competency you had and you say to yourself, how did I develop that competency? I can guarantee you there was some bodies in your past that invested in building that competency. Maybe they uh, gave you some books on that. Maybe they talked to you about it. Maybe they led you to some websites on it. Maybe they helped finance your education for you to get more educated in that area. But people invested in you. And you may have had a mentor that taught you something. If you're good with sales, I bet you anything, there's some somebody in your past that you were able to shadow, you had an internship, you know, whatever. You were a volunteer somewhere that you learned and witnessed something. But somebody invested in you. And the reality is, for most of us, that's how we developed. Some competency that we have is based on some gift, some interest, some skill set we had that somebody invested in. And that's what we need to do with folks that are in limited economic situations. Forget the fact that, that they have a shortage of money. Guess what? So many of us have in our lives. That doesn't define us. Look and see what are their gil- skill sets? What are their gifts? Where have they been educated? What has somebody ever paid them to do? What do they say their dreams are? And you know, looking at that and getting that story out I can guarantee you every time, and I don't care how poor the community is, there will be a wealth of possibilities there. And from my experience, the minute you start looking at the gifts, the assets, and then talking with the community about it, you'll find ways to invest. Just like what happens in the lives of of anyone else. And it's that investment that begins to lead towards development. And the reality is you can be talking about individuals or you can be talking about communities. But communities develop the same way individuals do. You have to start with the assets of that community and look at investment possibilities. And so there really is a development process um, that makes sense. And, um, and I've, been, I've used that um, in a number of, uh, of communities, both in the United States and internationally, in different organizations, and it really works. You begin to see results. Because what you're investing in are the people themselves. Here's the other reality, is that nobody can change anybody. People can only change themselves. So we can accompany people in their development, but they have to do the work. So again, if you think about it, it's not logical. If we're only looking at people of limited income by their neediness, we don't even know what to accompany with them. We, don't, we haven't even talked about, well, what can I invest in to move this person forward? I'm stuck at their need.